A call to diagnose this vehicle, this Toyota Highlander. You can see all the units are on top after they've replaced the camera unit. So they replace the camera unit and install this. The problem is still persisting. So what I'll do is I'll scan the whole system and see the actual fault that I'm having with the camera system. Highlander. Radar and this with the smart key. So okay, you can see the light keeps flashing. So let me scan the whole system and see the actual problem. I'm done scanning the vehicle, so let me check the reports and see the actual problem. So it's complaining front camera and driving support unit, front camera and driving support unit. This one, so I'll erase them. This one also, tight pressure monitoring and lost communication with image processing, which is the front camera. And this stop starts boost. Okay, so with this one, I'll try and erase the fourth code and rescan the vehicle and check the front camera communication and see if there is any issue with that. So now I've erased the fourth code, recycle the ignition again. And, but the client told me they just replaced the front camera. So they just replaced the front camera. Um, let me rescan the vehicle again and see the fault that I'll be getting again. If I'll be getting the same fault, then I'll know where to attack because he told me the camera wasn't working and they came to replace the camera. So I'll see what I can do about it. So let me see, scanning and getting the same fault code. Let me allow it to finish scanning. Then I'll take off the camera cover and check the camera and see why there, there is no communication with the front camera. I was not the one who replaced it. So I think I have to scan the whole system and see and take out the camera and see if everything is okay okay so all is done scanning let me go to fourth code and i'm still having the same fourth code front camera and driving support front camera and driving support okay so this is the code that i have to pay attention to also which is the P, uh, P323A199. I've experienced some before and it was a blind spot monitoring which was shorting the system to ground. So what Toyota have done is anytime any of the unit shorts the system to ground, this circuit goes off. But the moment you disconnect it and there is power, it will flow. So I'll check the camera side and see if there is any issue because someone installed it. So let me check the camera side and see if everything is okay. Then I'll know what to do from there. Then from there, I'll know what to do. And also, it has a lot of sensors. Like, it, normally, some will be the AC, but this time, the AC is working. Because the last time, the problem I was facing, the AC wasn't working. But this time, the AC is working. So what I'll do is I'll check the camera side and see what is the issue. The camera cover. And there is a camera socket and also this could be the problem you can see that this is short to ground that is the problem that could be the problem so what I'll do is I'll disconnect it even if I disconnect it even if I disconnect it it's not going to solve the problem because the issue here is on this side so what I'll do is I'll cut one of the wires off then rescan the vehicle and see if it will, it will work. Because when I read, when I did my research, I was told this mirror is part of it, so that socket is part of it. So I'll cut one side off, then see. So now that I've taken the socket out, I've cut one side off so that I could be able to communicate with it. So you can see what's going on there. Sorry for the 
let me autofocus it and yeah so you can see that means these two pins are attaching together so i've cut one pin so that there, there will not be any continuity so i'll turn on the ignition and before that i'll test for my power and ground on the camera side and see what i'll get so i'll i'll test i know this red one is power I know this first red one is power and the two other red the light red and the white down there is can then the black and also is a different can so the white and brown are powers uh, power and ground so with the first pin let me test and see so let me test the first one and see the one what I'll be getting on that side so that is ground zero let me test the second one. Oh, sorry, the ignition is off. I have to turn on the ignition to that. I'll see. So that one, that first pin, when the socket is facing this way, this first pin, uh, that first pin is ground. Then the second pin. Let me change my channel to 2 volt. 2 volt. Then let me test again and see if I'll get 2 volt. Yeah. I'm getting 2 volt. So that's battery voltage. So let me start the test from the sensors. Let me start testing from And it is 12 volts. I'm getting 12 volts. And another 12 volts. So this block. So let me go to the can lines rather. Which is the. So you can see the can line, the can communication. Let me go to that one. The down one also, which is can low. See the current communication on the other one, and this this is the pin. So with this side, that is the current low, and the top one is the current high, and you can see the current high. So that means my current communication is okay. So you can see this one also. There is communication on the other two lines, and there's also communication, which is can low and can line. So that means the image processing in it, two can lines comes on it, and one is ground. So what I'll do now is, I have my power and ground set, so I'll plug in the camera. Then let me turn the ignition off, plug in the camera, and hold on with this wire, because I'm going to repair it. I have to repair it. I have to repair it and if we fix it so what i'll do now is let me turn on the ignition and see what i'm going to get here Whew, let me see if there will be any flashing then let me erase let me erase all the fourth code and scan the vehicle again and see if the problems are going to come so now if the problem is really solved, I should be able to communicate with more than 22 units. So let me go back, back and auto scan it again. And I'm running the vehicle whilst I'm scanning the system. And you can see there is no fault code apart from the tire pressure, which uh, because they've parked the car for long, that's why it's on. So maybe they will go and check the tire pressures. So. Now there is no fault code with the and now I'm able to scan other system also like the link keep assist and other things I'm even still scanning and let's see the number of units I was able to scan I was able to scan 30 units so that means eight more control units has been added to it because the system was shut down and i like the way toyota made this system it is uh, so the fuse they, they place the fuse which is a cut out fuse so whenever there is shots or whenever there is short of power it cuts out the power to those units then when the problem is resolved then it allows the unit to communicate to each other so 
I have no issue again, and I'm having only one issue in the pre collision system. Um, lost communication with image processing and its history. So I just erase it and rescan it, and I'm done. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So this. So this is my second time of doing such system or having stop start system not working and it is due to one of the units on the system which has gone off. Like the way this one, which, which has shot to power. The last time was the blind spot monitor and this time it is the mirror. So now everything is done and I'm good to go with every calibration that I needed. So I'll just talk to the customer and tell him if he wants me to repair the socket then take it to my car and repair the socket then after that I fix it back and fix the mirror for him. Then we know what to do. Thank you for watching once again. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I am done with the whole diagnosis. And the problem is solved and there is no problem in the system. So I'll allow him to drive it for a while, the TPMS, everything, it's, having, it's running on low fuel and everything is working, the AC is working, the AC is working and I'm done with my diagnosis and I've repaired it also. Now after fixing the problem, there is no light on it and the whole system has no faults in it and it is Highlander yeah, Toyota Highlander 2018 and there is no fault in the system drive it back and there is no fault reverse drive back and there is no fault and when you go back and check when you go back and check the system too there is no fault anyway that means the whole problem is done. The only problem is the the why the triangle light is on is because the fuel is low. So there is no problem and the stop start to be working. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.